Welcome back to another episode of The Shack Show. And in this episode of The Shack Show, I'm going to be talking about Algag Whippet Fish and specifically uh, this in the context of fishing in the spring. Uh, as a lot of you know, uh, the spring is coming up pretty quick, especially for a lot of you more southern anglers. I am north of Boston in Massachusetts, so I got probably a, a good month before I start seeing bass in my home waters, but I know for a lot of people that are you know, around Cape Cod or South New York, New Jersey, that whole area, the bass are basically there and you're gonna see them in the next few weeks. They're gonna be starting to really funnel in and you'll get more and more fish, which is super awesome. But one of my favorite early, early spring lures and for us on Cape Ann, we tend to have a good month where the, a lot of the fish are very, very small. So a lot of what I like to do is fish in estuaries, back bays, areas where the water temperature rises a lot faster. And what I'll tend to do is I'll fish a lot of the lower tides where the waters, where there's a lot less water uh, and a lot less area for those bass to be in. And what I'll find is a lot of those estuaries that have these muddy flats will warm up faster because of the sun and you'll have bass kind of funneling in there and there's also estuaries and rivers that have good herring runs. So maybe you'll find a few better fish moving in and out of that area, which is always awesome. But there's a lot of bait in the, in the estuaries. I mean, the estuary is like a nursery for a lot of different fish. So algag whippet fish in the spring are one of my favorite lures of all time. Uh, what I like to do is I like to cast them out just up, up current, let them drop down till I feel them touch the bottom of the water. I just give them a little twitch and every three cranks, I give them a little twitch with my wrist to give it a little bit of like a fluttering motion. And what will happen is that will kind of get that bass to see it kind of get away or jut forwards a little bit. And then the, the bass just come up and crush it. It's definitely a great lure when it comes to catching my first bass of the season. I got my first bass of the season this year on it, um, or this past season, I mean, on it. And uh, they, they just catch fish. Uh, and I know like guys will catch enormous bass on this, not just like in the Cape Cod Canal, which I feel like is the most famous place for algag whippet fish. And I'm sure there's some of you that probably didn't even know they make them this small, but yeah, they do. They make these like half ounce uh, ones and they're awesome for like schoolies all spring long. And you can get some pretty serious bass on these when there's serious bass around. Uh, just drifting this very slowly. It's a nice paddle tail and you can see it's a very, there's a lot of good action on this, which makes it so, uh, so amazing for uh, what, we, what we do here in fishing in the estuaries where you can reel so slowly and you can get those early spring bass that might be a little bit more finicky to come up and hit the plug, which is super awesome. So that's one of my, my main go-to ones. And I like to fish a lot of those areas which are between that three to five feet deep. Um, and the reason for that being, a lot of the time, the bass will be coming up onto these flats to feed in the spring. And that's where I find a lot more aggressive bass. That's where I'll even be fishing a lot more topwater plugs early in the season. So if I have an area which, you know, maybe narrows in in the estuary river area and uh, is a little bit flatter, hopefully has some sort of rock structure, maybe a rip, something that can uh, give a little structure to where I'm fishing. Uh, I like to fish that area the most because I'll be able to drift my, my lure right through it. It's not too, too deep, so I don't have to cover a ton of water doing that. And uh, I have a really good chance of bringing this in front of a bass if it's in there and getting them to come up and hit it, which is the most important part is not making it so the bass has to overly work in those estuaries to find your lure that you're trying to cast and sweep through there. It's one of my favorite places to guide people because in the early spring, you can get on a good bite of these fish. They'll stack up on these sand flats and you can get into schools of like dozens of like 20 inch schoolies, which on light tackle is an unbelievable fun time. And you can basically catch them when they're in there and they're really feeding, you can basically catch them every cast. And what I love about the algags is they're a single hook. They're easy to unhook. They have a very small barb as far as barbs go on, uh, on on lures but you can definitely pinch them if you want in the spring and uh yeah they're just amazing for early spring fishing uh they they will catch big bass as i was saying especially later in the season uh if you fish them i fish bucktails a lot off the rocks but a lot of guys like 
Algag, Whippet Fish too. And um, they, they do really well in, in that scenario as well, but I feel like that's almost a completely different video on its own. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, shack show and I will see you next time. Please like and subscribe, it really helps me out and I'll see you later.